It's you. Hi. Such violence! Oh, guards! Someone's being attacked! You, you scared me. I was off in my happy place, and you just popped in and wrecked the whole thing. I understand money is tight, but buying discount spells seems like a bad idea. Take care. Yes? Can I help you? He's upstairs. Go ahead. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Emperor Uriel? You'd better explain yourself. Now, you brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. 
Only the emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The amulet of kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Hi! Well met. Do you ever do any shopping at Northern Goods? Well, of course. I, I mean, there's always something there I need, and Seed Nias gives a fair price, especially to his friends. Go on. The news from Anvil is terrible. Have you heard about the attack on the chapel there? Farewell. There is nothing more important now than locating Martin and bringing him safely back here. How are you today? Welcome, good citizen. I'm Brother Piner, and this is Wayne and Priory, a monastery. Can I help you? Here, perhaps you will find this useful. One of the books I saved from my blades training. You go into danger. Joffrey didn't tell us any more than that, but know that our prayers go with you. Take care. I know that you are on an important mission for the Blades. Please, if you need a horse, take mine from the Priory Stables. Go with Talos's blessings. Do not fail. May I help you? Hello.
on, run while there's still time. The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're... God's blood. You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvach last night. There were glowing portals outside the walls, gates to oblivion itself. There was a huge creature, something out of a nightmare, came right over the walls, blasting fire that swarmed around it, killing. Go and see for yourself. Kvach is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. It was Savly and Matthias. Some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out right through the city gates. Savly and says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you. Run when you can! I have to start over from nothing. Don't give up. You're not alone. And the chapels and the elder council will help us. We just takes time. Hope is gone. The Imperial line is dead. The covenant is broken. The enemy has won. Leave me alone. Show me what you've Yo. got! Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. Lost the damn city. That's what happened! It was too much. Too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel, but others were just run down in the streets. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them. With that damned oblivion gate blocking the way. The only thing we can do. We'll try to hold our ground, that's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment. I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. My home! My goddamn home in flames! It kills me that I can't get in there and... Do something! We couldn't have been any less prepared for this. Seems like they came out of nowhere. There were just so many of them. If only I had a way to strike back at the enemy. But we can't leave the barricade until that oblivion gate is closed. Some kind of portal to oblivion. The enemy used them to attack the city. They appeared outside the walls and Daedra poured out. They've opened one right in front of the city gates. Until that gate is closed, the best I can do is try to hold these barricades. 
You want to help? You're kidding, right? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you sure? I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. You can see the marks on the ground where they were, with the great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive, help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. It's a brave thing you're doing. Thank the Nine. I never thought I'd see another friendly face. The others... taken. They were taken to the tower. Captain Mattias sent us in to try and close the gate. We were ambushed, trapped, and picked off. I managed to escape, but the others are strewn across that bridge. They took many and off to the big tower. You've got to save him. I'm getting out of here. The captain is still holding the barricade. I figured I was the last one left alive. All right. I'll try to get out of here and let the captain know what's going on.
Over here! Quickly! You must get to the top of the large tower. The sigil keep, they call it. That's what keeps the oblivion gate open. Find the sigil stone. Remove it and the gate will close. Hurry! The keeper has the key. You must get the key. Take the key. Get to the sigil keep and find the sigil stone. It's the only way. Don't worry about me. There's no time. Get moving!
It's the smell, really. You closed the gate. I knew you could do it. This is our chance to launch a counterattack. I need you to come with us. You've got far more combat experience than these men. Are you able to join us now? I can wait, but not for long. We've got to move quickly before they have a chance. The longer we wait, the smaller our window of opportunity. It's the smell, really. 